Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macrum. It's time for episode one of season one of Mine Hunter. I know nothing about this except it involves the FBI, I think. And it's critically acclaimed. And apparently commercially acclaimed because you all voted for it. Let's get to it. Tell me what's going on. I had to talk to my wife. All right. The only one. I understand. For the moment, is there anything else we can get you? Get these fucking people away. Okay. Back out the perimeter. What if he starts firing? I'll we'll have to storm the place. They're making me nervous. Imagine what they're doing to him. He has no criminal history. He's clearly having an episode. We need to keep him calm and wear him down. Definitely get rid of those reporters. Holden? All right, guys. Already my Back favorite Holden. They told me he stole a shotgun, robbed a liquor store. Is he delusional? Violent? He's not violent. He's supposed to be taking medication, but he might have stopped. What kind of medication? He'll definitely stop if he's... Here's his doctor. What was he doing? He was trying to... Maybe you could talk to her on the phone. No! She has to be here. Is he gonna kill himself when she gets there? Maybe I can help. I don't think so. I figured he'd kill himself. I just didn't I think he'd wait. Jesus. All right. Not gonna be an uplifting show. Fair enough. Not gonna be an episode of Seinfeld. Fair enough. You didn't lose one hostage or bystander. That's how we measure success. And your courses are a big hit in the summer. I actually think you should be teaching more. Thank you, sir. But? But I'd rather not. Well, this is awkward. Because you start full time on Monday. That guy's like a boss of everything. Boss of control. everything he's in, rather. And I always like him as a boss. Fugitive has already killed a police officer. Good or not. Morning. We must establish communication. Non-threatening communication. Where did I know this guy from? Not positive. This the king from Hamilton? We don't know anymore what moves people to kill one another. Used to be. Da, 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 you find da, a victim with. Da, 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 da. Sure, here's the trouble thing. No one's even asking the questions. We are. We are. <laughs> Hey, for the FBI is in need of some great looking black dudes. You've got the wrong idea about me. You gonna book me? Maybe. Handcuffs? You do not seem like a guy from New York. You don't seem like a girl from Corktown. Buy you a drink? I didn't hate it. I don't know if I loved it, but I didn't hate it. That outfit doesn't indicate, you know, the back. Me with booze all night, don't you think that's kind of a mixed message? I like her. I ain't gonna lie to you. So just put your mouth over the hole. <clears throat> <laughs> He's so nervous. I mean, I guess he gets some trouble, right? <laughs> God, that cough was horrific. Sad. He was obviously very disturbed, but somehow I liked him. Yeah, you have empathy. Yeah. Empathy. I, I really think he's a robot. Dialogue. It was just. Oh, fuck. Shit. <laughs> Finger my pussy. Finger my pussy, I'll give you a blowjob. <laughs> Psychology is for back room boys. You understand what I'm trying to say? No, what's a backroom boy? This is frowned upon. <laughs> Speakers, lecturers, great minds. Are you sure you want me doing that? You're smart, you're idealistic, more than a little sensitive. They're gonna love you. Just a little sensitive? Just call him a backroom boy? That is a hilarious term I've never heard before. Sign of the times, man. Have you lost your appetite? Do these sad fucking hippies seriously believe that they're worthy of an enormously costly fucking neurosis among supposedly intelligent people? Please, they're flattering themselves. They think you're a liar. Ha 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 ha! You're one of us now. That's 
Hilarious. No way. Kiss my black ass, Mark. Wait, what? For the purpose of this exercise, I'm imagining I'm Negro. That's good. That's fine. Keep it going. Just whatever comes. We brought your children to see you. You what? I haven't seen my children in years. Okay, good. Important not to talk to a divorced man about his children. Try a different tact. I like that. I'm no f***ing you jive motherfucker. Okay, okay, let's dial it back a little. Excuse me. This is awesome. Or would you rather use firearms all the time? I kind of rather use firearms. Why? Seems safer. <sighs> hey! Holden, right? Holden Ford? Hi. Bill Tench, behavioral science. Really? Great to meet you. He's somebody who's a scumbag and everything. Peter Robin. I think I just saw him in uh, Wrath of Man. Smoke? Oh, uh, I don't smoke when I eat. Want to go outside? Can I eat? I don't smoke when I don't eat either. <laughs> I was hoping it would give me some authority. He's got you doing recruitment, right? Yeah, well, I'm there, so I might as well make myself useful. Now, what does that mean? You're so eager to do good, you have a big blue flame shooting out of your asshole. Oh. Okay. Are you my girlfriend? Wait, is this another one of those things you just can't tell? I don't know. Are you? What do you need in exchange of rings? She's never gonna answer the question, so yes or no question. Why are you with me? You're nice. <laughs> Good things. Are they? So lame. What, why, who? What happened? Why did it happen that way? Which should lead to who did it. The perpetrator is standing right in front of me. But I have to gauge how much destruction he's capable of. What in his background or personal life that could have triggered today's standoff? Why did it happen that way? Which narrows the search for who did it. But what if our killer is someone who's not rational? I love this presentation. I'm so enamored. The stuff of crime and punishment and beyond the pleasure principle. Oh, Jesus. The greatest minds in history have been fascinated by the vagaries of behavior. <laughs> vagaries, that's a great word. Thank you, Holden. <laughs> that was very... Illuminating. <laughs> See, while he's at it, he steals your wife's panties, too. If he stole my wife's panties, I'd be amazed. <laughs> he was not selling those. They don't want to learn. What are we even doing here? Just don't make it too complicated. What's wrong with complicated? There's complicated and there's too complicated, Holden. Are these the two that are be the leads here? Experiment. I'm here for it. Psychology. You were Manson? No, but I knew every single man who did. You need to figure out who you're talking to before you tell a sob story about <laughs> little Chucky Manson. They're <laughs> pigs. Know your fucking audience. To be fair, they always do this. He's right. His mother and child who were murdered recently. Ada Jeffries and her boy. We've seen reporters. She was bound, stabbed repeatedly by the chest and face. Jesus. Boy, broomstick, perforator rectum. What the fuck is Whoever this? It was, made the boy watch. <sighs> then did the same thing to him. Come on, Agent Ford. You got fancy methods. What does a broomstick in the ass of a dirt poor single mom mean? We need more time to go over this. We are in the dark here. We don't know any more than you do. How fucking dare you? <sighs> this is not an easy watch. Oh, it was for the first, I don't know, 40 minutes or so? In the dark, huh? We are. I have studied everything we have to offer. I've taken this ride out here with you, listened to everything that you've been kind enough to teach me, but I still think we are talking about something that we don't understand in the slightest. It was an aberration. Let me tell you something about aberrant behavior, Holden. It's fucking aberrant. If we understood it, we'd be aberrant too. A little college education, some experience on the streets, some insight, a lot of horseshit. I agree with you. It's been one step forward, two steps back. And you tell it to your girlfriend. Okay? Okay. How's That's that? fair. It sounds okay, Bill. <laughs> All right, that was episode one of season one of Mind Hunter. Where to begin? First things first, I don't know quite what I expected from this show, but I can assure you that that wasn't it. Um,. I don't really have any complaints because I actually enjoyed the majority of that 
hour. I will say I'm already significantly invested in Holden. Holden Ford. Uh, one, because I'm pretty sure that's the king from Hamilton. Easily the best part of that uh, musical. Um, uh, and I thought he came up quite likable. Naive, emotionally vulnerable. Uh, it worked. It worked a lot. And I'm already invested in his partnership with guy who plays a scumbag in every single movie or TV show he's ever in, uh, but doesn't appear to be one here. That guy, his partner. At least they were driving back together. I'm invested in their friendship or their companionship or their partnership or their whatever it turns out to be. I just want it to work out well. I must say I am, however, not exactly thrilled about uh, their first, I don't call it case, but their first brush up with um, unexplainable violence, we'll say. The, 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 the young mother and her child, that whole crime is horrific. And I don't need it in my life. <laughs> not only do I not actually need it in my life, I don't need to hear about it. It always things like that always jar me. You know, like the SVU and like shows like that. It's always very passive. Killed her, then what happened? This was like rather graphic, and there's pictures, and I'm not okay. Um, but a man up, I'm gonna man up and work my way through it. Um, I really enjoyed the dialogue. I do like his girlfriend, Holden's. That is. Um, and I like their, ooh, do I like their dynamic? I don't know. I like them individually though. So we'll go with that. I like when they talk to each other. I don't know if I like their dynamic as a couple. It feels borderline toxic. Um, or at least has the potential to be so. Anyway, it's a fun episode. I don't have much to say. And I'm done. Uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. 